was no way for her to succeed. An impassive Japanese fan there. He's obviously waiting for Icho and Yoshida. Do I wave? Do I not wave? Do I pretend the camera's not there? Yeah, I'll pretend the camera's not there. There we go. Smile at the end, but who will be smiling at the end of this one? The second bronze medal match here. Russia against Canada. Natalia Malyasheva, the Russian in red, and her opponent from Canada. From Jillian Sas Alice Galliez. From Saskatchewan. Yeah, I was asking you how to say it properly, it's Saskatchewan. <laughs> OK, now we've got it. Bigfoot country. Yeah. She's got one foot in the bronze medal contest here. So, uh, Gillian was, uh, one month ago, she was the bronze uh, medal at the Commonwealth Games in uh, Glasgow. And everybody loves Glasgow. Yes, of course. And uh, participating, to, participating to the Grand Prix. She won it in Germany just recently as well. So she's in good form. Natalia Malyasheva, junior European and junior world champion. So a good battle of the two here and straight away, a much more enterprising beginning than the first match. They're moving a lot more, trying to create some extra thoughts in your opponent's head. That's the job. Confuse them, bemuse them and pull them to the mat. The Russian will try to push out now. She's in good position. But uh, the referee is warning the Canadian inviting her to uh, to adopt a kind of a attitude will produce, will uh, show that she's going to try to do action. She do it, but you know the Russian wow, had a good, good country. Defense, yes, huh? so good defense. Gallis see, was round the back there, took an yeah, elbow in the face, and had she to never, think again. She never gave up. Now let's see if the referee gives the the points for the takedown. Not yet. Gallies has still got a hold of the leg. Yeah. No, I think it's enough now. Yes. Well, the pressure told in the end for the Russian. She's not happy to give up just yet. She wants to turn two into four. Will she have time? No, she won't. Do we need a medical intervention here, maybe? Yep, I think the referee calling them in. I didn't know what... I didn't saw it. Yeah, I think he had just the doctor. A blow to the nose or to the mouth. But she'll be fine. They're made of tough stuff. Natalia Malysheva. And they clean the mat because uh, the hygiene is very important. You can see uh, the stigmats and the singlet of the Canadian. And Gillian Gallis, she moved to train with Tanya Verbeek. In Montreal, in Montreal. Yes, yes. So that's obviously helped her progress. Yes. And that Commonwealth Games in, in Glasgow, a big success for her. And the Commonwealth Games themselves, a big success. But who will be successful here? Malysheva. Just so some running repairs from the doctor. The, yeah, the, the, and the, the referee is cleaning the body of... Uh, Julian uh, Gale because uh, it should be no uh, no blood on, on the body, of course. I think it's not that much. Yep, they're ready to go again. Yeah. They're obviously. You have seen two guys on the screen, and one of them was a former world champion and Olympic champion, Alexander Ivanitsky, who was the people in charge of the TV for Soviet Union for more than 20 years. Okay. So he certainly knows his way around the mat and they're moving around the mat again a minute and 30 or so gone Gallis has a good grip of yeah. Malysheva yeah. can she get round the back take care she will the other one will play the same thing Le raise his head oh but you know she destabilized no no again you see you see what she's trying to do but it didn't work this time now she gave two points yeah, Malysheva's that tried job. that a couple of times to yes. defend and hang on to avoid the takedown but Good determination from the Canadian. And she's determined to keep going here. The referee's letting it flow. I think he should. No, he's yes. not. No, not. Not enough action. A recognisable Russian coach there. Yes, Yuri Shakmuradov. 
from Maratkala. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Easy for you to see. <laughs> uh, only two. Uh, not of two on the, black, on the ball. It's called in there. Yep, who's in double trouble at the moment? Galis again trying with the same tactic. She's and, beginning and, to wear Malasheva down. And the Russian, she's trying to have a, a, a arm roll on the side here. Let's see if she plays her very well. No, no. And the coach, uh, the Canadian coach, uh, pushing her athlete. Yep, final bits of motivation and advice. But they're leeching the final stages of this opening period. Just 10 seconds left. Do you commit? Do you hang on? Well, I think they're going to live to fight another day here. Back to the coaches for some advice. They don't seem to drink much water during the, the, the break. Not that much. Uh... You know, it doesn't help that much. It helps just to, to clean the mouth, mm. not, not to uh, refresh or refresh a little bit the athlete, but not to rehydrate them. Sure. There's no time for that. And here uh, we can see the action in slow motion when the galley succeed on those takedown of two points. And of course, galley was the last wrestler to score. So even though it's tied up at two points each, She's in the ascendancy. She, she has the lead by virtue of scoring last. Oh. And we're underway in the second period. Cumulative scoring now. The order of the day at the United World Wrestling Championships here, but who can establish dominance? She's doing exactly the same action, same setup, and it works. She's pushing the, head, the neck of the Russian down and tiring her. Yes, I think that's the and key. The, that's the key. And now she has a good... Uh, take care of the arm roll and the front arm roll because it's dangerous. But she, she has kept wow. with her oil ball. Great that's work. good. The Russian coach is disappointed. Uh, disappointed, yes, yes. She don't have. She she's not looking a great character, the Russian. In but I think you called case. it correct. I think Malasheva has been worn down just by the persistence and determination of Galleys. Her fitness is telling here. She's leaning on. She's causing the Russian Malasheva all sorts of trouble. Yeah, no. It's on the end of uh, Malasheva to. Attack more if you want to to win. But the Canadian is looking uh, very strong, very and confident. Stand up, take care. She's taking care. She's uh, yes again. You know a good counter. She she was expecting the attack and reacting right away on top. Pass go behind a uh, two other point. That's six two. And I think that's testament to her tactics as well because she's done the same thing three times and she's got six points. That's not easy to do. Your opponent knows you're going to do it, but you can still do it. That yeah, takes... But you saw she, she, she stepped back with her legs, so that's, that's a key point. She, she's able to step back with her legs on the air, uh, which uh, not that much people have this ability uh, because you have to take the, the, the contact on the opponent. She made Malasheva miss, she made her pay. And is she going to make her way onto the podium with a bronze medal? She grits her teeth here, guys. She's got to hang on in there. One more minute on the clock, and one minute can feel like a lifetime. But the Russian is... Uh... Yeah, I think again... Is it a, a cut there on the arm? I think she blows... She's bleeding in the nose. Yep, the same she, injury as before. Really fragile. Sure, fragile. sure, sure. There's nothing to do with uh, uh, heat. No, no, no. It's, it's just a yeah. combination of, or, or accumulation. No. She's not had an easy time of it, Natalia Malasheva. As we said, junior European and junior world champion. She's, very happy. She's smiling. <laughs> But she should be uh, more concentrated because it's still have uh, one minute in one minute. You never know with the Russians. Sure. Only four points separating them. And you can guarantee that Malasheva 
while she's getting some repairs done here, she's planning, she's thinking, but Galleys looks very fit, very confident. Yeah, yeah, she... And the Commonwealth Games medal will have helped her. That's well, I'm pretty sure, good yes, momentum. Uh, yes, it was a good uh, step and good preparation for this world. A good timing for preparing those world with a coach with Tanya Verbeck, which is not here on the corner. She's, sure. she's away, but she's watching her at it. She'll be very happy to see that they're ready to get underway again here. Just the mm. repairs have been made to the wrestler. Now they have to be made to the mat so that we're ready yeah. to go. Yeah, yeah, they have to clean the mat. And make sure it's not too slippery underfoot because there's still a good chunk of time left here. Now let's see. It's a crucial moment for the Canadian. She have to wait. Let's see how the, the Russian will attack probably the same way because she didn't show any uh, diversity in her attack so she's trying to slap the the neck set up on top <coughs> but she will go down and uh, the canadian knows already that she will go down good anticipation from two, two and one with the two and one she tried two and one control doesn't work oh. Fifteen seconds for bronze medal for Canada. Let's see if it works. Yep, Jillian Gallies has got her hand on the medal. She's trying to defend here. Good, good control, good control of the bat. Uh, and the Russian looks uh, unable to... That's too late. <laughs> yep, unable to respond. Yeah. So it is delight and glory for Gallies. That's She's Commonwealth Games and World Championship bronze. Big dedication to her friends and coaches there, the national team of Canada. First medal for Canada in those uh, World Championships. Richly deserved. Looks happy, huh? <laughs> well, she worked for that one. She earned that one. Dominant display from Galleys, and this was the tale of how she managed it, Danielle. Yeah, yeah, she, she escaped from the front control. The, you saw the disappointment of the Russian coach slapping the mat. <laughs> The delight of the Canadian coach. Yeah, again she go behind you. She had good, good defense. Very good defense on the legs. Well, that completes the.